information. So that looks good. So now if I go to my balance sheet, what I'd like to be able to do is break those categories out uh, with subcategories. So they're all subcategorized under the, the fixed assets, but I might want to further break out to have other subcategories which are, which are grouping together the furniture and equipment and its related depreciation. So if I update this, for example, we see furniture and equipment and its related uh, depreciation. Uh, so before I do that, let's go to the first tab and let's make a journal entry that's gonna be taking some out of here, 103,000 and pulling it into the equipment, meaning that 5,000 purchase that we just made we're going to say it's not actually furniture, but it was equipment. So in other words, if I look at my depreciation schedule, I have 98,000 in furniture and fixtures and 5,000 in the machinery and equipment. So I'm going to pull that 5,000 that we just recorded into machinery and equipment. Now I could do that by going into the journal entry and adjusting it in the source entry, but I'm just going to make a, a journal entry that's going to take it out of furniture and equipment and put it just into the equipment account for 5,000. Okay, so if I go up top, if I hit the drop down, there's not a normal form to do that because this isn't a normal transaction that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Therefore, we use a journal entry. We can find the journal entries by going to the accounting and reports. And then we type in the journal, journal report. And then within the journal report, we want to have uh, a add journal entry. And this is going to be to adjust uh, uh, fixed asset, fixed asset balances to match uh, to match the pre schedule, something like that. And we'll say this happens. We'll do it at the end of Feb. We'll just do it at the end of Feb here. And you might, well, we'll do it at the end of Feb, that's fine. And so the account that we're gonna be posting to is the equipment account. Uh, equipment is gonna be going up by 5,000. And the other side is gonna be the fixed, the furniture and fixtures is going down. Now, if you don't know your debits and credits, you can post it and then you can go back if it's going the wrong way and change it. But it's an equipment, it's a is an, is an asset account. Assets go up with a debit. So we're going to increase the equipment with a debit and decrease the furniture and fixtures with a credit. So let's post it and check it out on the balance sheet. Back to the balance sheet. Back to balance. And that's what my accounting course is going to be called. Like back to balance because it's the balance, because that's the double entry account and balance sheet. But we have the uh, 98,000 here, and then we've got uh, the 7,500, and then the equipment is now being broken out. So again, we don't have any depreciation related to this one, but we might want more subcategories. I might want to kind of break these out into their own. So they give me the 98 minus the seven five, which would give me the book value for furniture and equipment. And then I can do the same uh, here as well. So I could try to do that with my edit layout groupings here. I can go into my edit layouts and I can say uh, in here, I've got the accumulated depreciation. I'm holding down control and I want the fixed uh, assets uh, for, for the furniture and equipment. And I'm gonna group those together group them together and it gives me this nice grouping. And then I'm going to just call this uh, furniture and fixture book value or, you know, or something like that, right? The furniture and fixture, the total will be the book value when it totals them up. I think I can actually pull this one down too because it was in alphabetical order but I want the furniture to be on top and this one to be on the bottom. Again, more flexibility to do that than you have in other software like QuickBooks Online. So cool, very cool that you can do that. I'm impressed. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hold on uh, the, the control here and do the same for these two. 
and group those together. And then I'll just call this like vehicle, even though we don't have any yet in here, I'll say book value or whatever. And so there's those. And again, I'm going to put the vehicle on top. Boom. And then we'll do the same for these two. I'm going to select this one, hold down control and this one. And then I want to make a group out of those two. Group it. Group it, man. And so this is going to be equipment book value tab. And so that looks good. All right. Super flexible. Uh, very impressive with this layout format. More flexibility than other than the chief rival. I must say, uh, QuickBooks Online, although possibly it could be a little bit more difficult to for the learning curve uh, to master, but uh, there it is. So you've got the fixed assets, and then you've got the furniture and uh, furniture and fixtures. And so there's the the book values of ninety eight thousand minus the seven five gives us another subtotal, right? And then we've got the uh, equipment book value. It only has the equipment in it because we don't have any depreciation yet. And then we have the total for the fixed assets down here. And and notice within this grouping, I'm able to put the, the one that starts with an A below the one that starts with an F, which should happen because you want the accumulated depreciation under the, the, the furniture and fixtures. But with other software, you can't do that without adding the account numbers. Oftentimes, if you're using like a normal subsidiary parent kind of relationship kind of system. So flexibility is a plus uh, here. So we have that. And so let's go ahead and see if we can save the customization. So I'm going to save it uh, balance sheet customize. So I'm going to save it there. So when I open it up again, that should be the one that uh, will be there. Uh, hold on. It went back. No. Did it do it? Yeah, so there it is. So we're still good. So there it is. Mui B to the N. B N. So now our grouping ties out to our, our sub ledger over here, which is being held externally, the 98, the 5,000. We'll get into calculating the depreciation and recording the adjusting entries related to the depreciation in our adjusting entry course or section. For now, let's open up a trustee trial balance and check out our numbers. Tab into the right, nothing happened on the income statement. So we'll just go over here. Accounting drop down reports. We need a report, please. And we're gonna type in trial balance, the trustee TB. And let's put in uh, the 2023 on the trustee TB and uh, for the date up top and update it. So this is where we stand. Uh, if your numbers were on last time, last presentation, but they're off this time, then the only changes we made, you would think the ones that would might be off is the furniture and fixture. We made an adjustment to that. We made an adjustment to the equipment and we adjusted kind of like the name of the furniture and fixtures. So if something's an issue, you would think that would be it, but change the date range, see if it's a date range thing. And then uh, you can drill down to the source document, make any changes to the source document that need changing.